there's a lot down here. There's so much. But right now I'm going to talk to you about sticking nettle. Um, this isn't really so much a video to tell you how um, to do ID young stinging nettle. It's to talk about stinging nettle when she gets a little older and a lot of people think that she's not good for much anymore. So, if you come over here with me. This is stinging nettle and she is going to seed. And we'll see if you can get in there and and um, see her seeds being in here. And if you, if you let it, it'll focus for a second there. So a lot of people will tell you that stinging nettle is basically, I mean, useless beyond fiber. Like you can spin yarn out of her stalks uh, once she's gone to seed. But that is so crazy misleading. Um, one really cool thing about stinging nettle once she goes to seed is that she's basically amazing, absolutely amazing for thyroid health. Now these seeds aren't quite ready yet. You're going to want to wait until they've gone black, you know, until they're ready. Um, and that'll be midsummer. But you can see she's starting to go to seed, like this big sucker over here. And you'll notice that, um, if he backs up a bit, you'll notice that um, I'm able to touch her. Now, I mean, you still don't want to grab onto here or here, but I'm able to touch her because she's no longer putting the energy into stinging people so much as she is to producing these seeds. And so what I will do is I will come back um, when these seeds are nice and dark, especially these big fat suckers down here, um, and I will gather up the seeds as well as the leaf and I will make a tincture that's very specific for adrenal fatigue, like adrenaline support um, and thyroid. Um, now, nettle's good for that in general, um, and she's got amazing nutrients, but from tinctures, it's important to understand that you don't really get any nutrition from tinctures, just medicinal actions. But, like, if I'm, like, hmm, if I'm really, really fatigued, if I'm feeling, like, bad anxiety, and my normal daily drinking of nettle infusion isn't helping me, and I know that, like, um, most anxiety, my personal anxiety is caused by adrenaline fatigue, I will come and I have these seeds on hand and I will make an infusion with her um, seeds. And now an infusion is just where you pour uh, boiling hot water over an ounce of whatever herb you're using and let it sit for four to eight hours. But with the seeds, I only use about a quarter ounce because they're so potent. But you can also bake with these seeds. You can add them to bread. You can add them to your food. Um, they don't taste bad at all. So. Um, when somebody tells you that nettle's no good once spring has gone, uh, you know, just think about this because, I don't know, it's just not the case. She has so much more to give us. Um, and this, this would definitely be the stage you would harvest her if you're wanting to make fiber too. So we might go further up the mountain to where we, like yesterday we were harvesting like ones that just came up for eating for food. And so if we get back up there again, we'll show you how to ID her um, when she's little and talk about what she's good for then. So, but nettle is definitely an amazing ally and definitely look into the benefits of what stinging nettle seed can do for you. All right, I'll see you next time. Bye.